The Prolog series is designed to break the fourth wall. We shatter the glass that exists between artist and audience. It gives the students a chance to interact not only with our acting company, but also on our stages. So it's a very immersive, interactive experience for them. In this scene, Hamlet sees the ghost of his father summoning him to come. Do you guys know the play? Have you been reading the play? It's amazing when you come into these prologues and you get to see the light on these kids' faces. Today we had some kids who didn't know Hamlet at all. They got so excited about the story and they were able to make their own pictures and make their own idea about what these characters are going through. The ghost is beckoning Hamlet to go away with it. Horatio and Marcellus are saying, don't go, don't go. Hamlet has the next line. What would Hamlet's line be in your own words? I would be very dramatic and say like, no! We guide them a little bit, but those tableaus are all individual to those kids because it's from them. That gives them a personal ownership of the story, and then they're like, oh, I can't wait to see this show. And for them to say that about Shakespeare, I think in this day and age is really exciting. We give them an example of iambic pentameter structure. So when the kids have the lines, we make them, you know, move around so that the line makes sense as far as they understand it. I tread you fast with your best mind. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> These lines you want to feel in your body, like you really want to feel the rhythm. If you go towards that beat, those stressed lines, you're going to understand it more. To be honest, as this world goes, is to be one man picked out of 10,000. You, sir, shall grow old as I am, if like a crab you could go backward. I must only be cruel, to be kind. I also love to see those moments where we get these pennies dropping. Teachers saying, I didn't know that student could do that. And all of a sudden, lights go off for them. It's a very exciting thing. Thanks and sincere. When the wind is southerly, I know a hawk from a handsaw. Very good. Yeah. I think it's really neat for them to have been on the stage. I had never been on the stage until I got a job here, so I think they maybe they realize that once they're watching the show of how cool that is and what a powerful kind of place to be that is. So my group over here, your line is going to be unmanly grief, all right? When we do this, we're trying to affect Hamlet. So that's what you guys are playing. You're playing the voices in his head. To be or not to be, that is the question. Good, very good. So, uh, how does that feel? It was like very intense. It's wonderful to look into their eyes and share something with them and, and have that moment with them on stage, which will stay with them forever, you know? When we have this sort of thing in the morning and then they come and see the shows in the afternoon, they're going to see examples of all those things that we did. So they're way more attentive, they're focused, like that's the line that I said. We are kind of igniting a fire in them, a excitement to go and see more and to read more and to experience more, more Shakespeare, more theatre in general, you know. <laughs>